Hey, welcome guys. This is going to be explaining the new Wi-Fi naming convention, which is Wi-Fi 1234567. Now, don't assume you can turn this video off because I listed it in order and you're done now. That's actually incorrect. This is not in order for starters. And I also want to explain the logic behind this new naming style. Not so much the technology, but just why it was done and it's good for your understanding. So I made two separate videos already explaining the technology behind the new naming convention. So one video has Wi-Fi, or rather 802.11 ABGNAC in a single video, and then AX in a separate video. AX was in a separate video because that's the new technology being released right now in 2019. Links to both videos are in the video description. So I want to explain the logic behind this. So the Wi-Fi Alliance um, decided that, hey, you know what? We need to change our naming convention to something simpler for the consumer because tech enthusiasts and I, people in the IT industry will still use this. This is not going to disappear. This is still going to remain. It's just going to have simpler names over here that I'm going to list for you guys. Now, you might be wondering, why is that? Why do we need simpler names? I'm tech savvy. This is 2019. Everyone should know this stuff. Well, that's not true. There's still a lot of old people, for example, and people who are not exposed to the IT industry that much. And keep this thing in mind. If you're buying a new router and you're not that tech savvy, and you go to a computer store, you might see that an N router is just as expensive as an AC router because the N router has some antenna speed booster range gimmicky nonsense. So they, they overpriced it close to AC. If you're not that tech savvy, you're going to be like, well, which one's newer? Which one's better? I, I'm not sure which one I'm going to buy, right? The other thing to keep in mind is that there's some Wi-Fi technology being released, which you shouldn't buy because it's not that great, but it was, you know, released anyway. For example, I, I think it's 802.11 AD, which falls right between AC and AX. AD was a blazingly fast. Like, I mean lightning fast, but it has horrible range. Like, I mean atrocious so most people aren't going to buy it, but if you see it on a store shelf, you might be like, hey, it's better than AC, it's cheaper than AX, I'm going to buy AD. But you shouldn't because it's not that great. Well, the new naming convention, again, tries to avoid technology like AD for the average consumer. So you'll notice that I put the new naming convention up, and it's not trying to trick you because you see that A and B, well, A is a lower letter than B, so it goes in correct order. But the Wi-Fi naming convention here, the new style, is different. That's because A and B was released around the same time. So, it, well, they decided like, hey, B is one, A is actually two. Then it goes to G and three and blah, blah, blah. And then it goes in the correct order down here. So I'm not trying to confuse you. This is actually how it is. And this is the whole point of this video. So I actually understand some logical reasons why the Wi-Fi lens didn't release this naming convention right away. You see, way back when, back in the 90s, when A and B were released, they had two different technologies. They weren't intercompatible. You couldn't use one a device on a B Wi-Fi system. They, they weren't inc intercompatible. In fact, then they released G and that improved upon B, but it wasn't compatible with A at all. This might sound confusing, but if you watch my uh, video explaining 802.11 ABG and AC, it's actually very, very easy to follow this. And remember, you should watch that stuff before watching this. But after 3 was done, so after we, we removed from G, we went on to N, and this is where this new naming protocol makes the most sense because from Wi-Fi 4, also known as 802.11n, and onward, every new thing on the list improves upon the previous technology. So for example, we have N, which improves upon everything prior to that. Then AC improves upon, I think, A technology, like the 5 gigahertz signal. But it also utilizes N as well. Again, this is really easy if you watch the 802.11 videos in the video description. You'll fully understand. But the long story short is that Wi-Fi manufacturers, their hardware that they release, going from 4 and onward, always improves upon the previous technology. Because again, with A, B, G, N, a lot of it wasn't intercompatible. With N and onward, a lot of it was. Backwards compatible as well. So if I have a, a B device, it'll work with N, AC, and AX routers, right? So it's backwards compatible from 4 and onward. So, so it's actually becoming very popular already. Some manufacturers are already adopting this and they're jumping the gun uh, quickly, which is because they know this is where the industry is going to move for naming convention. For example, when the Samsung Galaxy S10 was released, Samsung didn't really focus on the naming convention of 802.11 AX. They didn't really mention it that much. 
Instead, they're like, hey, our new phone's gonna work with Wi-Fi 6. And they keep pushing Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6, because this is the new naming convention. So they wanna push people and say, hey, we got the best Wi-Fi technology in our phone, Wi-Fi 6. The long story short of this entire video, now that you got of it, is that the old naming style is still gonna be, be there for IT specialists and tech enthusiasts. From Wi-Fi 4 and onward, the technology will always get better. So the bigger the number on the new naming convention, the better te the technology. And I say that with confidence because with Wi-Fi being released, they always try to make it backwards compatible. So you have newer speeds that can also work with your older technology. It's, it's a win-win situation. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit that like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.